Hey, everybody. Kirby Seuss with you. Welcome. We're going to do the uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Hobby 6-box half case number 17 right now. So I would ask you to come this way. Let me leave this out the way. God, Bowman Chrome has gotten so expensive here lately. Six. tell you because I have it set up here. These are teams that uh, folks have. As far as I know. I'll be honest, I hate the mini boxes. Hate the mini boxes. Such a pain. Joe, I mean, I can't answer to that. You might have been high, perhaps. Um, I mean, did, did you uh, accidentally eat uh, some brownies that uh, some co-workers may have uh, brought to you or something? Is is that is that possible? Wait, is it? There's there's no there's no hitless dollars in this. That I know of. Maybe I'll just give you hitless dollars in case you were so per potentially drunk and or high that you uh, got into this. Ah, see, he, well, he, God, he's got, he's got to let a brother know if he's, uh, if he's, if he's attaching such stuff to things.
Okay, let's slide this over a little bit. Of course. It has been a little bit since I opened the Chrome. Quick minute, even perhaps. Eh, whatever. Pack stacking all of it anyway. I can't even believe Jesse came in tonight because, uh, like, like, I, I'm a, I'm a fat bastard. I mean, this is just something that is uh, true and real, and I cannot. Uh, pretend that I'm not. But I will. Uh, I will almost always like on like Friday nights. Or Saturday nights, bring in like a bag of chips or something. Maybe one, maybe two. I don't know, it just depends. Let's see what happens. And then, like, I'll eat like half a bag of chips. And then come like Tuesday or something. And like in our in our, in our trash here, I'll see like the like the other half of that bag is gone. And I don't care. Like I mean, I, I I am more than happy for him to eat like eat whatever chips uh, show up here. Like I don't I don't uh, if I wanted to hide them so that he like wouldn't be able to eat them, I would. But his sweet sweet little uh, little Samoan ass brought me like uh, three bags of chips tonight for me to eat today and tomorrow. And if you have any, uh, if you have any balls, you will uh, ask Joey or ask Je Joey Jesse about his uh, his uh, Samoan heritage. The next time it's next time he's in the room, but be be like a little bit, you know, slick about it. You know, like you know, don't just be like, oh. You know, you are you a Samoan, you fat bastard? You know, no, like ask him, like you know, if he knows anything about like Samoan culture, or uh, you know, like you know, do it, like you know, do it a little, little bit at a time, drag it out, like don't, you know, don't, don't throw it in his face. You know, let let him let him slow boil on. Oh, Scotty! I mean, he is, but they're like, there's this, like, we went the la at the last national we went to. There was a uh, like some party that it was like at a hotel. So Jesse and I like, you know, rolled up to the hotel together, and like, you know, some like, you know, like some lady was like at the front door, like, you know, you know, guiding people where they went to where, where they needed to go, because there was a lot of events going on at, at this particular uh, Holiday Inn. And, like, she immediately looked at Jesse, like, with his, like, hair and stuff. And he's like, oh, are you Samoan? And I think that he had just had, like, a long day and was just, like, not in the mood for it. And he got so pissed off. He was so mad. He just thought that that lady was like a racist POS and was just like angry like nobody's business. I mean, she was just like, you know, some lady from Ohio who had never, you know, seen a uh, brown-skinned afro man and assumed that he was, you know, like from the islands. She wasn't try she was in by no means trying to be like racist to him. Absolutely not. She was enamored, if anything, 
by uh, Jesse and his, uh, you know, his tan skin and uh, brown locks. But just, he had, had I, I just think he had had a bad day or a long day, and he was so mad, so mad all night, getting just drinking and just pissed about it all. Just pissed. I can't believe that lady, like, you know, she was so racist. And I'm like, dude, she wasn't racist. She was just like, you know, a, a Midwestern white lady that ne had never seen anybody, you know, that looked like you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she had done, yeah, 100% she got a, she got a piece of that Samoan ass. But it's still, like, I mean, I think just to this day, like, it's still, like, he just... He like he like a little bit a little bit touchy about it. So nothing. I mean we didn't do anything. I mean I like we I mean we we find, like we you know went to like the ballroom or whatever the thing was was happening. He got a couple of drinks, got some food. You know he talked about it some more, and I was just like, man, I said, listen, that lady was not being like hateful or mean or racist to you. She was just like being like you know, just like a little, you know, just like spitting whatever, whatever's come out of her mouth, but in a nice way. She wasn't like, oh my God, are you Samoan? Get out of here. No, she was like, oh my God, like, are you, are you Samoan? Like, that's so awesome. You know, like, was her attitude. It was, it was, it was, ne it was not negative anyway. It was, it was a positive attitude for the whole thing. So, I mean, what I'm telling you guys now is to, you know, maybe just drop it here and there a little bit about, like, you know, maybe, you know, do, do you know some, are you, like, Samoan or, uh, you, know, do, you know, do you know anybody from around there or anything? Who was the dual autograph, Bergie? Because uh, that's solid. You know, so I mean, so so don't blast in his face. But just, uh, you know, maybe just, you know, maybe, you know, just drop a little something, something here and there or whatever. I know that it will drive him mildly insane. And that's always fun times. All right. Bowman Chrome, what do you got for me? Cooper Torres, rookie. Everybody loves that. You know, really should be pulling out the first two. Got a uh, blue Jorge Guzman to one fifty. <clears throat> I don't know. He he is just an amazing bad man. And James Nelson, first moment autograph for the Miami Marlins. Congratulations, Marlins. Nice card. Rachel, straight off. It's what I do. It's what I do for you, man. It's what I do for you. What? What? What are you, Scotty? Are you just uh, a California tan surfer dude? 
A Tavares uh, to 250. Uh, that's a BCP action. What do I have to put on these? A Christian Robinson Diamondbacks uh, first Bowman autograph. Yeah, see, I mean, it's 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 it's, it's kind of troubling to me. Like, it, almost every single day, somebody confuses me for somebody that gives a shit. It's, I mean, it's terribly awkward when it happens. It's very awkward when it happens. But I mean, I mean, basically every day, whether I'm in like a like a grocery store or you know somewhere like that, somebody like assumes that I care, and then it's you know then that's when things get like a little awkward when they realize that in fact I don't, and it then like things get weird. A Peralta to uh, six fifty five for the. Uh, Milwaukee Brujahas. Giolito of purple status to 250. I'm at Manning to 250 of purple status. A Jose Albertos to 150. Autograph the Cubbies. I don't know. I mean, that I, I gotta be honest. This is the one thing that, like, if you know, like, if there was like some kind of genie or something when I was like 15 and he like had asked me, like, what like my my current self, you know, could take back to then, you know, to there, like, what it would be. It would honestly be the fact to not give shit what people think. Or at the very least, to be able to, like, separate it. You know, to, like, care for those that I care about and not care for the rest of, uh, of everybody else. Because God spent so much time like Gavin Sheets uh, to uh, 99. Trying to make people like interested or you know make them think that I was interesting or something. Oh, half that noise. Uh, Correa Chrome uh, to 499. A Nicky Lopez to 99 for the Kansas City Royals. I believe that we had a call on the Royals uh, hitting, uh, potentially. And they did. Isan Diaz in purple style to uh, 655. Montgomery Butler. I mean, Berg, I mean listen. I mean, anytime you hit a duel, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's got, it's got to be a nice card. They don't make duels that are not. Nice cards. Uh, yeah, Tristan McKenzie to uh, 150 for the uh, Indians. A Jake Rogers Detroit Tigres. Autograph.
Hey, Jordan Hanks at 150 for the Cardinals. Uh, peaks of potential. Crack dice. A Soraka rookie refractor to uh, four ninety nine. A De Los Santos for the Phillies to two fifty purple refractor autograph. I had kind of forgotten about how colorful uh, Bowman uh, Bowman Chrome actually was. It's mucho lovely. It's mucho lovely. Hey, Johnny. Only 7%. Can't you bump that up to like 10? I mean, 7 seems a little bit weak. 10% off, I mean, really seems like a, like a better deal. Johnny, can, I mean, can you can you do anything to uh, maybe change that around? I mean, because I might buy in at seven. I mean, I, I might buy in at ten. I'm definitely gonna buy in at seven. It's Shane Bieber, four ninety nine. Hey, Brandon Marsh for the Angels. I mean, seven. I mean, seven percent. Yeah, I mean, seven percent seems weak, bro. I mean, you know, ten. I mean, twelve. I mean, if you throw if you throw down twelve, I would have imagined this entire room would have disappeared and gone for the twelve. But seven. That's you know, I don't. It's just to me, it's just not. It's not worth the hassle. You gotta you gotta move your mouse like up somewhere, click on another tab for seven percent. Like yeah, you know, I feel like you you gotta do better. You gotta do better. Unless they are in fact getting paid on it. No. It's still, it's still you gotta do better than seven. No, I mean seriously, nobody ban these people. I wanna I wanna I wanna chat. I need something to do. Tyler Freeman uh, to six fifty five. I mean I don't I don't know if you guys know about this, but uh, I used to not be uh insanely popular as I am now. There was a time that uh, I had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people coming in uh, coming in blasting on me. And then Aaron Nado of Purple Variety to uh, two fifty. I think there was, wasn't there? I'm just thinking about something else. No, maybe maybe just some Chrome Chrome action. A uh, Cease four ninety nine. There is actually this one guy, a uh, Lamont Wade 499 uh, refractor autograph, who would come in and just say the most, like, hateful, ugly, ugly things. Like, I mean, just terrible things that this guy would say. But, I mean, you know, I chatted with him anyway. Like, I mean, at, at the time, like, I was not breaking anything and had nothing better to do than to chat with him so you know as much as he said like you know just ugly things about my mom and you know what she did with her mouth and like this kind of stuff you know we built a rapport i will say a hey, guzman uh to 655 and uh there was like one day that i was actually doing something i actually had business 
and uh, he came in to, uh, you know, to embarrass me and a Duplantier 499 and say ugly things. And I just, I asked him, I was like, listen, bro, I actually have business right now. Hey, Jorge Guzman, uh, first bone for the Marlins. Uh, can you, like, come back and, uh, you know, crap upon me later on? And he was like, yeah, I can do that for you. And he left. And I gotta say, sadly, I don't know that I ever saw him again after that. There are some people that spam with respect. And there are some people that spam without it. But I mean, 7% off, doesn't that seem like a kind of weird number? Uh, Rosario Rookie Refractor. Hey, Mike Bauman for the uh, Ori Holes autograph. First Bowman style. Gold, shimmer, uh, are autographs flipped or no? No, autographs aren't flipped. So can we can we hope for a gold shimmer autograph? Can we hope for it right now? And we cannot. But we will still get a uh, Jorge Guzman, thirty-nine of fifty. Uh. Gold Shimmer for the uh, Marlins Baseball Organization and Slash Club. Oh, another gold. I see another gold. Come on, Ink. Come on, Ink. Give it to us. Let's see if we can. It's Phillies. It's Phillies if there is Inky And it's Aaron Nola. No ink, but still a gold refractor to 50. Oh, redemption. Oh, it's a redemption. I'm, I'm not even sure who, uh, who, who redemption's in, in this. It has been so long since I have opened, since I have seen this. So I'm gonna tell you, what, I'm gonna set that down. Right, just, just, it's still right there. You can see it. I haven't moved anywhere, anywhere. So that's all right, nothing there. What do we got? What do we got? You are due to receive. Okay. I mean, let's. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm so good. Okay. Bowman Chrome Prospect. Autograph. Okay, so no, like, no gold, nothing. Uh, so just it's a straight one, but still. But still. Of. Carter Kaboom! For the Nationals. Nice card. I love the, uh... Love the redemptions, because they just, I mean, they just make for, like, a fun 
drag out kind of deal. Okay, boom, Nationals. Okay. And it's always interesting when you uh, finally, Jason, meet, I regard you. The J.D. Martinez Refractor. Another gold. And it is autographed. Charcer Burks for the Chicago Cubs baseball organization. Indeed. 33 out of 50. We'll not talk about his, his uh, current draft pick. We'll just say that that is a good card. All right. So we have got autographs for the Charcer Burks, the 50 for the Cubs, gold style. A uh, K-Boom for the Nationals. A Bauman uh, first Bowman autograph for the Orioles. A Guzman uh, first Bowman autograph for the Marlins. A Lamont Wade first Bowman rookie ref refractor autograph for $4.99 for the Twins. A Brandon Marsh uh, autograph for the Angels. A uh, De Los Santos to $2.50 first Bowman autograph for the Phillies in purple. A Jake Rogers Tigers. A Nicky Lopez Royals to uh, 99 in green fashion. A Jose Albertos to 150 for the Cubs. A Christian Robinson first bowman for the Dimebacks. And a James Nelson uh, Miami Marlins uh, first bowman action. Thank you, everybody. Let's round two.